Hello and welcome to another craft new tutorial. Today I am going to be showing you how to paint a cactus, or cacti rather. Uh, we're going to be using acrylic paints as usual. Today I'm just going to use yellow, green and a tiny bit of white and black. You are going to need three paint brushes, a big one, a medium one and a small one. A pencil, your canvas or paper will do. A cup of water and some kitchen roll to blot your paint brushes on. Okay, let's go. I'm going to start by drawing out my cactuses. I'm going to do four because I've got quite a long canvas to cover. If you've got more of a square one or you want to just do one big one, it's completely up to you. You're more than welcome to freestyle. I am going to paint all my cactuses, cacti, sorry, differently. Um, starting over here. Because they're plants, they really can take any form. You don't need to be exact with them. You, if you want them straight, you're more than welcome to use a ruler, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make mine a little bit wonky and a little bit cartoonesque. And then my second one, the largest one, is going to go all the way up here and down. Because it's pencil, don't worry about your lines being completely um, straight or accurate. You're going to be able to paint over them. So I'm mainly just outlining for now. Okay, when you've drawn out your four cactuses, cacti, I'm never going to get that right, we're going to draw some lines down the middle of these three. On my big long one, I'm just going to do two in the middle, and on the arms, the same, two on that side. On these two, I'm going to do five. And they should go from the very top and middle section all the way to the base, but following the line of the cactus. Okay, and when you finish drawing out your cacti, I got it right that time, they don't need to be exact. If you have gone over each one like I have here, don't worry, we're gonna go over and paint very soon. Um, I'm gonna start with the background, and my background is going to be yellow. I think a pink would look really good. I'm so torn about what colour to do, but I'm gonna do yellow. Um, a purple would look nice as well. Anything on the other side of the colour will. So our cactuses are gonna be green. Cacti <laughs> are going to be green, um, so you wouldn't want to do a blue per se because it might be too close to the colour. If you want it to really pop and be quite cartoonish, then a yellow or a pink would work really well. I'm going to get my largest brush, blot it out on the paper, get my yellow, and I'm not mixing my yellow with anything, I want it to be really, really bright and vibrant. Like this. It's up to you whether you cover um, these parts of the canvas. I really like them. If you look at my other tutorials, so here I've covered the sides. It just looks really, really nice on the small canvases. But again, up to you. If you can be neat and you want to keep the, the edges white like this, feel free. Okay, with the yellow background, when you are done and you've got all the tiny little fiddly bits, uh, we're going to move straight on to um, colouring in the cacti. I got it right that time. I'm leaving yellow on my palette because I'm going to come back and go over the background. Yellow is quite a weak pigment, um, so it's not overly strong against the canvas. So I'm just going to do another layer to really make it pop. And if you if you have gone over pencil with the yellow, you'll see that it doesn't cover the pencil fully. So that's what I'm going to do with the layer. And for now I'm just going to wash my brush out really well and start with the cactus. Cacti. And with this the light is going to be coming from this hand side. So we're going to make all the um, sides of the, these cacti a little bit darker green. So we're going to have about four or five different shades of green. The darkest being right on this side. Make sure your brush is super super clean. And we are going to mix the lightest green first. So 
I'm just going to get. If you don't have green, it's quite easy to mix, it's just yellow and blue. Okay, as you can see, I've mixed a really, really pale green, a medium green, slightly darker green, and then I'm just going to leave my normal green on this side. I might add a little bit of black to make a really dark green, but I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to start with these four. Um, starting the lightest. Where I made the line to go down the cactus, I'm just going to stick within those. So with my lightest colour, I have covered, I think I changed my sides, but all of the sides on this part, I've left, where is it? I've left this section out, that's going to be a little bit darker. And on all the arms of the cacti, I've just not really gone with a line of anything, just shaded in this colour on this side. Because it's also quite a weak pigment and it's a lighter colour, when I do put dark colours on top, that's when I'm going to be a bit more precise with my lines. But now it's just getting the paint on the canvas. So I'm going to go with my medium colour now. And colour in all the kind of, the parts of the plant that you'd expect to be facing you. And when you've done your medium greens, as I have, I'm going to work in with a slightly darker green. If you don't have a dark one already, maybe just mix a tiny, tiny bit of black. Be careful though, black's a really strong pigment and it can turn it really dark really quickly. So if you do add a little bit, just be very, very um, small. You can always add more, it's hard to take it away. Okay, and when you've filled almost everything on your canvas, it's now a good time to look at where it might look a little bit odd. So for me, it's this middle section here. It's a bit too light for my liking, so I'm going to put a little bit of a darker green in the middle. Same with this bit here, and same with this side. Only marginally, but to me, just looking at it now, halfway through, it just looks a little bit odd. Okay, and when you're happy with your background, your foreground and your cat's eye, we are going to let that dry and then we're going to outline them and put some, some white pricks on them. In the meantime, I still have my paintbrush from doing my yellow background and I'm just going to go over that and make sure it's really nice and even, just give it a second layer. And when you have done your yellow background, I've now got very messy doing so. I'm going to get my tiny brush um, and make a really, really dark green. It's darker than the one we already have, so more or less black, but not too, you don't want it to be too um, too high contrast. And we're going to outline in between all of the different colours that we've done. So I'm trying to figure it out. So in between each of the lines, we're going to do a little outline. If you do get a bit of a bumpy line, which I am getting a little bit of, as you can see here, it's absolutely fine. Cacti aren't straight, um, some are very very straight, but mine they sometimes are a little bit wonky, especially where the pricks do come out, so if anything it just adds to the effect. Okay, and when you've outlined it all, this, I run for quite a cartoony effect, so my black lines aren't perfectly straight. I was using the brush that was, let me see, like this shape. If you did want to get a really, really straight line, it's best to use a brush with a slanted edge and a little bit smaller than this, so that you can really like scrape it along. I quite like this effect, and now all that's left is to add the little pricks, which are going to be bright white. Um, you should wait for it to dry beforehand. I think this side for me is going to be dry because I work from here to here. You need to get a really, really clean brush. I'm going to use the same one that I just did to use the black, so I really need to clean it out. 
um, I'm not mixing the white with anything, so we're just going to go straight from plate to canvas and do little V shapes. And they're going to go along each black line, tiny Vs pointing upwards. As they do come closer to you here, they should be pointing outwards, so the ones at the top should point up and the ones down here should be pointing it outwards. So as an example, this one here, all of the V's on this side are facing this way, and all the V's on this side are facing this way. As they get closer to the middle, they look like they're smaller, but they're not. They're just going to be facing this way towards you. So we're going to continue to do these two, and then this one's going to be a little bit different. Every cactus is different, so I'm going to do this one, this long one, with just single spikes. So no longer the V's that I've done for these two, they're just going to be single spikes up. And for the final, I haven't quite finished that, but for the final one, it's quite a friendly cactus, so we're not going to do spikes, we're going to do dots. I haven't drawn lines, but we're going to make up five or six lines going down the middle, similar to how these ones have been done, and the same on the top bits coming out, I don't know what they're called. Okay, and that is it. I finished my cartoon cacti. I managed to say cacti instead of cactuses this time. Um, if you have painted along and you have finished yours now, please send me a picture of your final piece. I'd be interested to see which background or colour you went for, if you did any different shaped cactuses, cacti. Um, and if you do post online, please remember to tag Craft Me as well and share with your friends if you really enjoyed it. And we will we will be back next week. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas as well. Thank you.